I am going to explain a simple uh, Ohm's law and I will also explain how to verify this Ohm's law by using a simple uh, simulations, electronic simulations and uh, learning a concept with an with the practical uh, experiment is the best learning process that I know and uh, today first I will explain what is an Ohm's law and then I will show you a simple animations to prove to verify the Ohm's law. So, first coming to the Ohm's law. So, as you all know what is Ohm's, Ohm's law. Uh, so, all of you please see this uh, simple diagrams. So, as you all know uh, when the current is flowing through the circuit according to the Ohm's law the current I is the current I uh, sorry uh, wait a moment. Okay, so according to Ohm's law, the current I is directly proportional to the voltage. So, if you increase the voltage, the current is also increases linearly. So, that you please see here, if you plot the graph voltage versus current, it is a straight line. So, this is the linear relation and which explain the Ohm's law. And uh, to remove the proportionality, what we need to do? So, we need to insert a proportional constant that uh, I is equal to V by R, where R is the proportional constant or we can also say that R is a resistance. So, uh, finally, we can say that uh, I is equal to V by R or simply we can say that V is equal to I R. So, this is uh, uh, an expression for Ohm's law. And, uh, this is Ohm's triangle as you all know and by using this triangle we can derive all the relations. So, if you if you want to write the equation for voltage so that V is equal to I R and you see here if you want to write for the equation for the voltage so V is equal to I R. So, you please uh, observe this diagram observe this equation so V is equal to I R. So, if you want to write the equation for current I is equal to V by R. If you, wrong, if you want to write the equation for resistance R is equal to V by I and this is a simple circuit uh, by forming this circuit we can verify the Ohm's law and you please see here uh, here it is a battery and if you are increasing the voltage across the battery uh, the current and proportional the current and proportional voltage should also increase and uh, if you note down the values of current and voltage and if you plot the graph for that current and voltage you need to get a linear relationship which means the voltage should increase linearly and uh, this is a simple funny cartoon which explain uh, the ohms law so you please see here the voltage will help to move the current but the resistance will try to stop the current uh, so you please see this uh, simple uh, animation a uh, simple car cartoon image so try to understand here also so that v is equal to ir i is equal to v by r and r is equal to um, v by i r is equal to v by i and uh, so the voltage what is what the voltage is doing here the voltage is pushing the current to the other side which means the voltage will try to help the current to move uh, uh, around the circuit let us say and uh, what the resistance do it will try to stop the current so, the, the definitions of the resistance is uh, as you all know which opposes the flow of current all, uh, is the definition for the current anyway. So, finally, what is the Ohm's law? The current. So, the law of the, this law states that the electric current is proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance that we need to prove here by forming a simple uh, uh, electronic simulations. So, hope all you understood what is the Ohm's law. So, you just remember the voltage or the current should increases linearly. So, that linear relationship we need to verify here. So, what we will do in our uh, simulation part? First, we will take the batteries and we will connect an ammeter. We will also connect a resistor and across the resistor we will connect the voltmeter. So, by increasing the battery voltage, we will measure current in the circuit and resistance across the uh, the voltage across the resistor and we will note down here and let us see whether the graph will come in a straight line or not. So, now to form a virtual electronic circuit I have taken the help of a Tinkercad 
if you want to know what is the tinkercad and how to use this tinkercad website uh, uh, you just go to our pre my previous videos uh, there I, I have explained you uh, uh, how what is a tinkercad and uh, uh, how to use the tinkercad how to sign into this tinkercad i have already explained you explained in that video you just uh, you just go to my previous videos now so to verify uh, the ohms law first what i need to do first i need to create a circuit so after signing into my dashboard uh, just go to the circuits and you just click on create new circuit so it will redirect to your workplace where you can create your own virtual circuits yeah so this is your workplace so first what i need to do first i need to form a circuit first so to form the circuit first what i need uh, here this is the uh, the components are which are available so we need to take the components from here and we need to connect the components here so first i'll take a battery so see here, here there are three options i'll take a 9 volts battery so yeah so 9 volts battery and uh, uh, i'll take a resistor yes resistor yeah so and what i need to do uh, uh, we need to connect an ammeter in series to the resistor voltmeter parallel to the resistor so uh, I need to take a multimeter as you all know what is a multimeter the multimeter can measure so I will show the options see here the multimeter can measure voltage amperage which means current and resistance which means resistance so so that it is known as a multimeter so uh, I will take I have taken a multimeter I, have, I want to take one more multimeter which need to be acted as an ammeter so so this uh, multimeter I will convert to ammeter and this multimeter is voltmeter so see here a highlighting here so that this measures the current here the V highlighted so this measures the voltage now I need to connect the circuit so uh, okay so yeah so here this is the negative terminal this is positive terminal so first we need to connect the uh, negative terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the ammeter so Now, positive terminal connected to the one end of the resistor, the other end of the resistor, uh, yeah, uh, since it is a negative, let us convert it into black, yeah. Now, uh, I need a switch, first I need to connect, uh, no, not switch, um, uh, potentiometer to vary the potential across the battery, across the resistor. So, this is a potentiometer and uh, there are three terminals to the potentiometer. Uh, one terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and uh, the terminal 2 is connected with the positive terminal of the battery yeah and the wiper yeah wiper is need to be connected to the circuit yes and uh, the voltmeter connected to parallel across the resistor yes so the circuit connected connection is over so i have connected a battery i have connected a voltmeter i have also connected a, uh, the ammeter now after completing the circuit you just start simulation so see here initially the current along the circuit is zero and the voltage across the resistor is also zero now i'll start increase see here how the values are varying okay so let let us uh, uh, first let us take uh, some around values 50 or uh, 40 milliamps or 39 point okay let us take this value any value you can take any value you can take though but you need to note down these all values in the table so let us take uh, 40.5 millivolts voltage 40.5 microamps the current so let us uh, enter in here so the current is 40.5 now the voltage is also 40.5 okay now <clears throat> go to the next value increase let us take for uh, let us take for 2020 so first of all 
okay 40 I have taken so let us go for 60 uh, it is not coming 60 okay 59 59 so 59 59 okay and next to 80 80.5 80 80.5 80 80 so please try to try to see the graph so how it is coming it is a straight line so this is the left uh, the uh, the y-axis is the voltage and x-axis is the current you see here this current versus voltage okay so how, how we are getting just yes, getting straight line so almost a straight line let us go for the next value 100 let us take for 100 okay 98.3 yeah One one eight, one one eight. So see the graph. So it is almost a straight line. So yeah, and let us take one more value. One forty seven. yes so so finally what we can conclude from the graph the voltage and the current the voltage versus current graph is a linear which means which means so we can conclude here the current the current i is directly proportional to the voltage r v is equal to i r r r is equal to r is equal to v by i so this is which we have proved and uh, we can also know that uh, we can also conclude that the slope of the graph the slope of the straight line will give you the resistance and this is also we can conclude from the graph so here this is how we can verify ohm's law by using a simple uh, free electronic simulations and this is available in tinkercad.com by using this tinker card you can do any simple circuits uh, by using available components here at the, right, the right side you will have some uh, components you will get uh, components so by using these components you can form any circuit and you can analyze it so yeah this is all about uh, ohms law